What's up guys? Today I want to tackle a question that confuses most beginner photographers. The question is what photo editor to choose? Perhaps the first software you think about are the Adobe products or Capture One. But these programs are way too complex and have a steep learning curve. And sometimes the mere fact that something takes a long time to learn is the reason we abandon our hobbies. If you don't want this to happen to you, I'll tell you about 10 most user-friendly photo editors that will not only be easy to master but that would give you palpable result in no time. Some of these programs will even serve you well when you become a seasoned photographer, all thanks to their rich toolkit. I'll start with the easiest option, that would be perfect for newbies, and gradually move to more challenging software for people with at least some prior experience. Let's jump right in. GIMP is a free photo editor. Its tools allow for easy color saturation and contrast correction. There is also layer-based editing, the program's interface is fairly intuitive, so it won't take you long to get used to it. GIMP is praised for supporting all the popular graphic format as well as a few niche ones. One thing that it is not praised for is its performance. This editor has a tendency to lag and crash. Photoscape X has both a free and a paid pro version. The latter nature has a richer toolkit, but even the free version has enough features to perfect your images. Besides, Photoscape X allows you to delete the photo background, overlay text and stickers over your photos. The interface is sleek and welcoming. Sadly, the software has a pesky tendency to lag. This photo editor deserves your attention for a number of reasons. First off, it's auto correction feature. Just a click and your images flaws are fixed. Then there are the tools for for manual correction, which are also easy to apply. Even ill-famed portrait retouching is really easy with PhotoWorks. There are also tools for swapping the photo background, overlaying images, captions and whatnot. Batch processing, over 200 filters and so many more features that I'd have to make a separate video to talk about all of them. Another upside of this photo editor is that it has tons of built-in prompts and comprehensive tutorials which means you won't feel lost and clueless. PhotoWorks has a free trial. Once it's over, you need to order the full version. And it is really affordable. Just follow the link in the description to get the latest version of PhotoWorks at an amazing discount. You won't get into a subscription trap. A single payment is all you need to do to get the fullest version. Paint.net is another free photo editor. Each toolkit is reasonably vast, but there are no advanced features. Features. The program's abilities match those of a regular free application. You can crop your images, apply filters or captions. I like the history panel that lists all your edits and allows you to cancel certain actions if you don't like the result. Another downside of the program, apart from a modest toolkit, is that it only supports a few most popular formats. Photo is yet another free software. It allows you to stylize your photos with tons of filters, retouch the skin, whiten the teeth, and remove the red eye effects from portraits. It supports most graphic formats, so you won't have any trouble opening files from whatever camera you shot with. However, Photo does not provide tools for editing raw files. Now, before we move on to more complex photo editors, I want to tell you about two more programs that would be a great fit for newbies who only need a casual fix of their images. These two photo editors uh, don't have a desktop version, but can only be accessed uh, through an internet browser. The most interesting thing about uh, Pixel R is the sheer amount of filters, frames and other design resources that it offers. Besides, you'll get access to such tools as cropping, color and exposure correction, teeth widening and red eye effect removal. Pixel R also gives you access uh, to a library of stock images. Be Funky is another web-based photo editor. This app offers automatic correction of color balance as well as local adjustments and resizing. There is a respectable collection of built-in filters, textiles and other decorations. However, all the more advanced features are only available once you get a subscription. You can try this feature 
features to see their effect, but you won't have the chance to save the changes with the free version. The remaining three photo editors will you those who are ready to spend a little more time on getting to know them. Despite that, I still consider these options to be a great fit for beginners. Luminar isn't really known among newbies, but it is loved by pros. It has tons of features that include but are not limited to automatic enhancement, applying effects, manual lens correction, background change, masking, cropping and such. There is also the history panel that lets you cancel undesired edits. This is a very user-friendly photo editor. PaintShop Pro is a paid photo editor that is advertised as a Photoshop alternative. The program allows you to sharpen and crop your images, overlay text and draw on your photos with brushes. There are enough tools for RAW and HDR editing, besides the editor supports layer editing editing and masking. This is a stripped down version of Photoshop. You get the fullest toolkit of Photoshop CC with only a few limitations. Newbies will like tons of automatic features. These include not only photo enhancement but collage, slideshow and GIF creation as well. As you can see there are myriads of photo editors, but I've shortlisted only 10, so that your choice would be easier. Granted all these options have their pros and cons. If there even was the perfect photo editor, then there would be no point to make such roundups, right? But we all have different goals and aspirations, so this is why there are so many programs to choose from to accommodate every user. In order to choose uh, the most fitting program from this list, I advise you to try each option. Only this way you'll understand which option suits you best. You can even pick different programs for different causes. After trying Trying all the options, I have to say that uh, Fireworks seems like the best editor for me. It has an easy workflow and pleases me with the result. So remember that you can get Fireworks at a huge discount if you click the link below. That's it. Thanks for watching. See you next time.